Well, ain't this something, right? Uh, it's been a while, somewhat, since I have uh, last done a video like this for a channel update. Now, typically, this doesn't look anything new, um, but <laughs> uh, I, I've always done these like channel update videos in the past mo on a monthly basis. But uh, something about it, I don't know, something decided made me decide to um, put a cap on it in a way to slow it down a bit and just focus on what I do, like really, and you know, which is to make gaming related videos and just videos I that involve uh, with my hobby and interests and my passion and stuff like that so that's pretty much that was pretty much like the reason uh, just to kind of not waste too much time on these in a way but it is still worth doing uh, on a more quarterly basis or whenever I have actually ha uh, have stuff to say that's worth mentioning including what are my plans for pretty much 2022 and streaming and going forward and stuff like that um nothing super super drastic but still worth mentioning but um you know it's still worth mentioning what i've been doing and all that still how i've been doing and all that and all that and uh, you know hope you got, uh you feel free to you know tell me how you guys been doing in the comment section below and also, don't forget to forget to like and subscribe. I know it's nerve wracking, but there's a reason why people do it in the beginning. But so anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. And uh, you know, I try to uh, kick myself whenever I don't do it. You know, in the beginning because it is pretty important. And uh, of course, I do really appreciate it if you guys can take the time to do so. If you want to see more channel or videos on this channel, and you know, and all that. Um, that's pretty much the best way to do it to know when if, uh, new videos on that on this channel come out not to mention don't forget to hit the bell to notify all that's definitely uh, the other important part of this whole process so uh, especially for new channels anyway or smaller channels I should say anywho I wanted to um, sit down and talk about Pretty much what uh what I wanted to do for the upcoming future, uh essentially 2022. So let's just get this out of the way. Um, I'm probably gonna like reverse what I said because I um uh, pretty much like kind of talked about how I've been doing, uh but I need to talk about what I really need to say before I kind of diverge off into and digress into those topics. So, uh, the editing might be a little weird, but that's just how it goes. Anyway, I uh, wanted to make an announcement about what I'm going to be doing for my streams for the, uh, this upcoming year, 2022, pretty much. So, I've been thinking about this a long while. Uh, it involves with whether I should stream on YouTube or Twitch, right? Uh, it's been a pretty pretty uh, tough question for myself because while I do have still quite a bit of subscribers on this channel, this YouTube channel, you know, but when it comes to the engagement, it's a, hard, a little hard to say because, you know, um, it could be a lot of things like the videos that come out don't really reach out to my subscribers or my subscribers have moved on to other things. They grew up and, well, they gone on to different content because a lot of the viewers I had in the past were young audiences or young viewers so they grew up right so that's what happens um, you know it could be a lot of things anyway I have the numbers to justify uh, streaming on this channel more more or less because I do have the partnership so I have all the tools right it's everything's all set up in the shop essentially and I'm not even like it's it's like the big alley oop and I haven't dunked it at all. Um, but on Twitch, I have a okay following. I have like what seven hundred followers, uh, and I am an affiliate, so that's something. And I have been streaming on there, but it just hasn't really gone anywhere. One because you know it's just hard to be a streamer, right? Two, I haven't streamed consistently and numerously, and there are a lot of factors as to why. 
One is the motivation. I kind of just like playing games at times alone, like on my own time. I kind of just want to just enjoy it for what they are. Um, there are just times where, you know, um, it, I while I do, I kind of want to stream. Um, you know, there are just other factors that kind of um, don't allow me to do so. You know, uh, so I can't be as entertaining and. And all that, you know, there are things that hold me back, and you know, um, you know, I, I've let's just say I've I've received some complaints, and you know, not from neighbors, thankfully, but you know, um, people in the house, and um, I kind of tried to work around it, so it's been a little hard uh, to just consistently stream at times too, but. For the most part, it's just motivation. I kind of want to just um, do other things, or I kind of want to just enjoy games on my own time. Like especially with um, Tales of Rise, like I barely streamed that game. I have only streamed it once, like for five hours, right? Like one of my one of just one of the random parts of Tales of Rise, I streamed it. Um, streaming, you know, uh, long games like that is just not feasible, um, in my opinion. Like, I tried to, uh, in the past, I, tr I tried to play my games around streaming. Uh, meaning, you know, all I, you know, every time I play, I stream it. But when I can't stream, I don't play the game. So that means I, uh, it takes me a long time to complete that game. And that's what kind of happened with Tales of Vesperia, which is a pretty long game. So that's why I wasn't able to sort of you know get some some content relating to that done on time in a way um for my personal schedule or whatever due dates whatever um it's, it's, it's i mean it's not like a job or anything but it's just my personal thing and uh it took a long time like the game came out what in sometime in january whatever year and it took me like months to complete it I could have finished it in that same month, you know, if I just streamed it on my own time. Um, but I tried to stream it every time. And on not only that, I ran into problems with streaming and, um, you know, the usual headaches, with what happens with computers or PCs and whatever, right? That's, that's what happens. That, that's the possibilities, you know, that's what you go through. And so, uh, you know, things like that take games a very long time to finish for me. So I've learned my lesson and that's why I kind of just like play games on my own time if I really want to enjoy them. Um, and I just stream it whenever I can or whenever I actually feel like uh, streaming. And that, honestly, that feeling has like come around less commonly than before. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, a phase or something. But um, I thought about it. You know, I, I I took this time to think about what I should do with my streaming. Um, should I try to just, you know, uh, stream with, you know, with the workarounds of my of the noise level, or you know, because I actually went went to the, went through the trouble of trying to add sound proofing to my door, because that's where the sound leaks through the through the most rather than the walls um so i worked on a door and did everything i could so I'll, i could do that or this is a big or um i could do something else that still pertains to everything i do um but in a pretty clever way kind of so this is where I this is where the this is where I want to let you guys know. This is the big announcement. Um, I know it took a, quite a bit to get there, but anyway. Uh, so what I'm gonna do for 2022 is I want to try to do art streams. Now, art streams new for me? No, per se. But the new thing is that I want these streams to just be the chill, absolutely chill streams. Like st the the streams that you can put on the background and kind of like off put it for a bit and then look back and like oh uh, th this is where he's at 
and then and then um bra you know do your thing and then look uh, look at my stream again oh wow he's he's in this point that's cool you know that sort of thing you can do that or you can you know check out the stream you know how you ever want however else you want however you want to consume it that's kind of the beauty i guess for these kind of streams so uh, I've looked at you know some artist streams on YouTube and kind of see how they how they do things and it's pretty simple for the most part and I think I want to take a shot at that. Um, I've had uh, picked up the necessary equipment to do so. Um, I uh, one of the key things I wanted to pick up is a pretty much like a, a quick key uh, device, which is kind of like a um, remote essentially here i can like pick it up in fact it looks like this is essentially a remote that has customizable keys that allow you to have your short uh, sh uh, your shortcuts added to here so let's say i want to um or hotkeys too um so i wanted to want to have the pen tool, the brush tool, change the brush size with the knob, um, you know, change the color and change the fore foreground the color, the background color, the um, you know, there's a lot of buttons, right? And you can I can even hit the button to switch to another set of hotkeys and shortcuts and such on the fly, like uh, a lot of artists use sort of these sort of devices. They, there's like more expensive ones out there. Uh, especially from Wacom, right? You know, you know how Wacom is with their devices, so they're pretty high priced. So that's why I picked this one up. Uh, I've got the name for it, but I'll leave you a know, link in the description below. Of what it exactly is? Is it? It's like it's like around eighty bucks around the time. There might be some deals along the way, so be on the lookout for those if you really want to get into this sort of stuff too. Uh, this could theoretically work for editing, but I've actually tried to use this for editing. And that's it. And hmm, doesn't really nece necessitate that. But I know this will be a key for drawing because there's a lot of keyboard action on when it comes to that. Like you know, when I use Clip Studio, uh, yeah, Clip Studio Paint, I definitely would definitely would want this. So uh, because there's a lot of like buttons on the keyboard that I have to like reach and whatever with my hand and fingers and whatever, and I could. I mean, th this would really streamline it, I think. So, anyway, I keep like bringing it up and down. Anywho, that's pretty much the big thing. Um, the just a reminder of what uh, what's different about it is that I'm not gonna be talking or responding to the chat. I'm just gonna just focus solely on um, drawing. It's a background stream, so you know. That's what it is. That's kind of the point to put it in the background, you know, you kind of just there. And uh, I, I'll have like music in the background, of course, but I'll probably have my own music in my earphones, like playing from my iPad or something. And, um, you know, and I'll play like the free, the safe sort of DMCA free music, uh, which is pretty much like video game music. Uh, that's been pretty safe. So I'll just play that in the background. Um, I'll try to like, play a lot of the chill songs you know that sort of thing and yeah so i'm just gonna be drawing the background and you guys will probably just you know uh probably forget about it at some point and then i'll uh, check back like oh yeah you know he's still there and and see where I'm, what i'm drawing and how where the progress and stuff like that is at uh so yeah um that's pretty much my plans for that one and these streams are most likely going to be late at night that, that that's the whole point of it is so that i don't have to talk i don't have to make any noise so that way i don't uh disrupt anyone anyone's sleep that's like it's it's kind of like uh, um making content while you know doing my hobby and also not you know you know not, not causing any problems around me so that's kind of like what I really try to think about, as simple as it is now, to, to like as I explain it, but I really had to like sort of problem solve, like okay, how do I make content that you know doesn't conflict with anyone around me, possibly, you know, and and 
uh, do it at a time where I am kind of active too. Because uh, there are just times where in, during the daytime I'm pretty busy and you know this and this and that, right? Um, I'm doing something else. And then late at night, that's when I'm like actually kind of doing free time. So, you know, where what, sh what that free time should be used for. So, I, of course, I'm not going to be doing it every night. I'm just going to just do it whenever I feel like it. Hopefully, the I, I, ideally, I want to do it like a few times a week. Um, like maybe like every other day or something like that. Sometime at the beginning of 2022. So I think it's going to be fun. I do want to, you know, get back into drawing. I've done in the past. I've done art streams with me talking and such. And that's another thing, too. When I talk, I'm not really multitasking in a way. Um, I've done I've done some, like, other streams, too. Like, I'm editing or something. Or I'm doing some Photoshopping for thumbnails. I've done, I've done stuff like that in the past for streams. And... As fun as they are when I'm interacting with people, like when I'm talking and I get it really get into the conversation, right? I'm not necessarily doing the central subject in the stream, which is, you know, in this case, it would be drawing. So I'm, I'm, if I'm talking, I'm not drawing most likely. And also, you know, I might be waking up my, my folks, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> so... It's uh, it's 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 something, and also it might drive traffic, uh, to my YouTube channel, possibly, and they can check out all my other content if they catch me drawing and stuff like that. They might be curious of what I what I also do, you know, on the side as well. Well, not on the side, but you know what I mean. Like, uh, what else do I do? You know, that that's what people can check out, besides drawing. If they get to know me as an artist first, right? Uh, if that's the case, which is it's it's completely okay because I I do like art, I like drawing it, you know, um, and I do have the stuff to do it now, so might as well put that into use. So that's really what I've been really thinking about. I thought long and hard about it too when it comes to streaming here versus you uh, Twitch, you know, because um, everything is set up for me. I I have the partnership to do it. I'm pretty much. A YouTube, uh, a Twitch partner, but here, you know what I mean? Like doing on Twitch, I'm like kind of chasing. Um, I'm like, and it's really, I'm putting myself in this hard path when I already have the alley oop set up for me, you know, like I, like I said. And so I might have, you know, uh, missed an opportunity to grow my streaming pl sort of resume if I just streamed on YouTube for. A long time if I just did it from the get-go I might have had an audience and um, you know I've had I would have had potential there but no I just stuck with twitch because I was what that, that was a popular thing that was like the cool thing you know and I've had you know people come in and stuff like that I've had a decent following at some point and I, that's why I kept doing it uh, but now that uh, you know twitch has been doing things that I don't like and there's been a lot of been a lot of just like a questionable choices that and just all the drama that Twitch has been going going through with the banning and how they just handle people, how they just treat the whole that whole thing with like money and whatever, you know, nonsense that they've wanted to do or how their view is on things and their politics and blah 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 blah. All that stuff is just all the more reason to hop onto YouTube, right? I, I, on top of the whole you know, exclusivity with the streamers hopping onto YouTube now. And then in the past, it was kind of like the other way around sort of thing. Uh, you know, uh, there was there was that one Microsoft streaming platform, that it was called. Um, man, it just slipped out of my mind. But, you know, it, it's the one with Ninja on there. He was on there for a bit. And then he just came back to you, Twitch. And that's it. You know, like, um, I, man, it's... I've had I I just had it, and it just slipped out of my mind. It, it, it this hap this happens to me quite a bit, but anyway, um, that's kind of the nature of that streaming platform. People have forgotten about it, you know. Um, so yeah. Anyway, point being, I should have probably started on YouTube and stuck to there just because that's where I think where my audience was, and um, I kind of let that slip, but you know. Um, that's okay because 
you know, it's not really what um, I'm like really thirsting for. You know, I get still get to do the things I want to do. And you know what? If I pick up an audience after this, you know, that's great. And I think that would um, that'd be that'd be great. You know, <laughs> so um, so I think I, I've been trying to just optimize everything. And, you know, and, and there was a point where, like, I was going to just leave stream, uh, Twitch completely to make the switch over to YouTube. Because, again, the whole drama thing with Twitch was just really making it hard for me to stream on um, Twitch with a good conscience. You know, you it's hard. Nowadays, it's really hard to consume, um, consume products with good ethics. Because there's just a lot of things like video games and... And all that stuff like tainted with like, oh, the sexual harassment or the the politics and like this and this and that. And, you know, it's like, what what can you do at some point? You know, is there is there a line to draw where you just cannot consume anything or uh, whether you can't consume anything or you just going to say, fuck it and just throw it, throw it out of the window and just consume whatever you want without giving a care for the world? You know, it's you know, and so you know it's it's hard it's hard man it's this it's a really hard to think uh thing to think about at times you know so sometimes you just gotta just suck it up and and just make it a decision and and get on with it i guess but uh probably not related to this but either way the point being is that i do want to stream something on youtube and we'll uh my twitch channel won't go away that's not uh that's definitely what i'm not trying to imply here but um, I do want to do something different about that. So I'm probably going to do some gaming streams here and there with Twitch, uh, not on a numerous basis like I did before in the past. But now uh, I'm going to try to do those streams, the art streams on YouTube. Whenever I feel like drawing and all that stuff, I just want to just chill, be quiet, and just draw. You know, that's what I feel like doing at times. There's a time where I just want to just boom, focus on something and just um, at the same time, make it something consumable for an audience. And again, I've seen these streams um, happen with Hungry Clicker. That's a, that's a big example. It's a that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. It's just draw and not talk. <laughs> so it's as simple as that. Um, you know, am I, do I consider myself a great artist by any means? No, but that doesn't really mean anything when it comes to whether I, I'm allowed to stream or not. I'm just going to stream and Hey, if I improve great, cause you know, I got to shake off the rust and whatever. So that's, that's essentially what my thoughts about, um, what I'm going to be doing with streaming. So I'm going to be streaming art on YouTube. So that means I'm going to be uh, finally trying to do something with my YouTube uh, channel when it comes to streaming. And when it comes to Twitch, not going to be much of as a prominent thing, um, but I'm still, it's, it's, it, it still exists. Like I'm going to do, I'm going to use it for um, the games, reaction streams, uh, watch parties, right? Because that tool is still there when it comes to like the uh, Amazon Prime video stuff. That's That's a really neat thing to do in my opinion. Uh, so I may do that sometimes and everything else, I guess, in between. So YouTube, again, will be the quiet sort of chill art streams. I just want to chill and draw. That's one uh, and, and make content at the same time, optimize that sort of thing. And then Twitch is kind of like, I guess you can call it a fun channel. I, I, I don't know. They're, they're all going to be fun for me in a way. So that's all I got to say for the important bits. And then so now, here comes the how I've been doing segment, right? Um, how I've been doing over the past, well, months that I haven't talked about uh, because I've been doing these channel uh, updates on a on a monthly basis. You know, and first off, it's unbelievable that we're, we're already at this point. You know, it's it's been quite. A decent year. It's it definitely is a more on the dry side of things, um, and it's a little weird because, 
you know, right at the beginning of 20, uh, of 2021, um, I've had to take a break right at the beginning of things because, um, you know, my, my father passed away due to the coronavirus um, right at New Year's Eve. So that was, you know, quite the, um, the kicker to end for 2020. It was it was rough. It was absolutely just it took away my energy to um, do anything. Oddly enough, though, I was still writing things when it came to like ideas and stuff for, you know, upcoming videos and such. But the, you know, obviously the editing, the that energy to edit and create actually create stuff, um, you know, that wasn't there. So I had to take a two week break at least to um, to recuperate. And, you know, I figured also that um, I have to move forward or try to move forward at this uh, at that point. And and it's not going to go away. You know, the, the feeling of loss, grief um, ain't going to go away that easily, no matter how long I wait. So, you know, I could have taken a month off easily, but my sort of creative juices just flowed so you know ever so continuously and you know um i'm sure my dad would understand you know um that he, that i make videos and um and so i just wanted to just make keep making stuff at some point so i hopped back to it and you know um uh, I try to get through it. So I've been doing okay with this process. And, uh, you know, it's still, you know, even by this the end of this year, it's almost the first year, you know, being without my dad. And, and you know, it's hard, obviously. Um, it may not look like it here, but, you know, um, sometimes I'm, I think about it and I, you know, get that feeling of just disbelief even if even even when you know it's about a year ago you know it, i still have that sort of the, the 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 feeling of just you know like it didn't happen right like it, it you just don't believe it still in a way um a lot of people go through that i've had i've had um friends who sort of um went through the same thing and you know, I've talked to them and um, they've said pretty much similar things of how they felt. And, you know, it, it's definitely a feeling that can happen of just denial. Like, you don't believe it that it happened. But, you know, that's kind of part, part of the process. And I'm still, in a way, still going through it. And again, it's not going to go away anytime soon. But... You know, it's it's definitely a tough process. It's going to take a long time, but thus is life. So we definitely have to keep moving somehow. So I'm doing my best to do so while being still, you know, the same passionate self. Um, I still think about my my dad and but, you know, like I said before, I'm sure my dad would have wanted me to do the things I still want to do or love to do. Um. And yeah, you know, may um, from time to time feel depressed and stuff, but I'm sure he would want me to, you know, keep my head up and keep moving forward to do stuff like this. So again, um, you know, it's 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 still just year one, and so it's uh, it's a it's a tough process still. It's still. Um, it still kicks in from time to time. So again, I you know I must remind that um, if I need to take a break or take a week break or something a week off, then I'll let you guys know uh, in the community post of things. Uh, I'll let you, uh, I also have a Twitter, so which is in the description. But um, I'll also put out a tweet there too, just in case if I actually need to take a break. Well, anyway. Uh, I've, uh, well, I mean, uh, the pretty much 
the end of 2021 that's kind of the where the conversation came from is right at um, right at the end and um you know again like the year has been pretty tr pretty pretty dry in comparison um i mean in terms of games right like we haven't had too many of like the new like you know blockbusters and heavy hitters and the triple a's and the uh and all that um like the last of us part two or god of war um not too many of those we just had like Ratchet and clank um the resident evil village and you know um a couple other things but really it's a lot drier than comparison to the last couple of years you know it can't be helped because the whole pandemic thing and it, it's it really rocked the boat um more ways than one so it, it really cannot be helped of how it shaped this year especially last year as well um but yeah it's it's uh you know what can you do right so but you know the silver lining in that situation is that the other games were able to shine a little brighter um you know brought a little more attention to like games like you know lost judgment tales of arise and of course you know metroid dread came out and was nominated for um game of the year right along with um a couple of others like psychonauts 2 and it takes two, it takes two, which actually took the the whole thing, which was funny, very unexpected too. Like even the creator did not even expect that to happen, uh, but but it did, and uh, you know that's definitely something to you know take home. Um, and in in you know big congrats to to Joseph, I think his name was or um, Joseph Ferris, I think his name. Sorry if I'm butchering it, but anyway. Big congrats to him and his team for winning that. Uh, it's a definitely a an, a, an achievement. I, I know I don't. Um, I've said that I don't care about the awards at the end of the day, but it's still worth congratulating, I guess. But um, otherwise, yeah. I mean, you know, the rest of the games have been pretty dry. Um, I mean, not it's not to say that the games that come out have been bad or anything like that, but if you really compare it to last couple of years, yeah. I mean, it's you know all um pretty different you know you can definitely say uh, oh yeah even death loop was part of the thing too but um won a couple of awards but not too, it wasn't like a an obnoxious, uh, obnoxious amount of awards <laughs> so um definitely wasn't the case like the last of us part two. Oh my goodness anywho anywho um movies i haven't gone out to go watch them i just went and see them on streaming whenever they were available so i don't obviously have have much to talk about when it comes to movies per se but uh they were, there were some cool movies that i was able to catch um over this year um like shang chi i i actually just watched shang chi not too long ago and uh that was a great movie that's all i can say I'm not gonna take too much time here uh, probably should do a review at some point. Eh, probably just re just pretty brief, but we'll see. Um, maybe I'll squeeze in one in here for for that. Otherwise, really, when it comes to gaming, it's just kind of like continuing what I've been playing. Uh, I have played Metroid Dread. I've played uh, Pokemon. I've been I've been playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and I've uh, finished up Lost Judgment, which. Honestly, it's a pretty pretty big contender for my personal game of the year, but I'll, I'll make that um, that video later on, probably around the beginning of the year, uh, or maybe close to the end of the year, but we'll see of how things go. Um, and then uh, when it comes to anything else, I mean, I watched Cowboy Bebop on Netflix, you know, the live action one. Oh, boy. My goodness, man. Ugh. Um, that's all I can say about that. I've already made my piece about it. So up next, um, you know, anything else new? I actually recently got my booster shot uh, to kind of, you know, stay safe from the from the coronavirus. It's been more variants popping up, which is 
hate to say it, but it's gonna be a, that's gonna be part of the process. I, as I hate to say it, it shouldn't be, but that's that's what naturally happens. You know, it, as it infects more people, right? It mutates and it becomes something else in a way. That's just kind of how it works. Um, the Spanish flu was the same thing. It, there was a lot of people infected. People had to wear masks, and there were mutations to be had. And it, this went on for a very long time. So the pandemic life um, was there for a pretty, pretty good while. So I feel like this is going to be like the Spanish flu. If you look up on the history and the Spanish flu and the timeline, that's pretty much what it's going to be. By the time, I think it's like it was like 60 years later, ever since the pan, uh the Spanish flu pandemic started is when the, the, the flu, when that flu became kind of like, just like in the background at some point. So if, um, if you, th if, um, if you want to know when you think uh, coronavirus is going to be well in the background, it's something we can just kind of ignore at that point. It might be around that time. And we're only barely two years. So, <laughs> um, that's essentially going to be the thing. So we, so we're kind of, you know, 60 years. That's going to be by the time I'm 90, <laughs> you know, um, that's for sure when we can kind of, kind of, you know, kind of look back on it. Like, you know, like it was just like, I don't know, a figment of the past or something like that. There's something just in the background. And probably by that time, it's gonna. There's probably gonna be something new. There's gonna be something else that's gonna be a problem. You know, there's plenty of other things that can happen during that time. So there is gonna be a point where we will have to get used to having to be careful for, you know, the the virus. You know, whether it's to mask up or just keep vaccinating. I don't know. We're just. I don't know, man. Just the. Uh, um, there's probably going to be a point where I'm going to just go out and just be really careful about it. Cause I haven't gone out for a very, very long while other than, uh, having to go to my friend's birthday sort of dinner, um, which wasn't too long ago. It was like several weeks ago at this point, but you know, I'll just go out for the, for the things that count, uh, when it comes to like people's birthdays and stuff like that. Um, Especially starting from next year, hopefully, um, where I feel as as less paranoid. I don't know. I mean, there could be more stuff popping up when it comes to the coronavirus, like more variants. Oh, this one's more deadly than the last. You know what I mean? We we got the Omicron thing going on, so it makes it just hard to just kind of have a roadmap for yourself of what you're gonna do, because you just never know of what's going to be popping up. You know what I mean? Like on top of the virus, you have storms and all this, not all this crap that just gets in your way. And you know, life, life is just taking its course. You know, you can definitely say, um, it, it sucks. It, it sucks, you know? And, um, I don't know. I, it's really hard to say of, will this go away? completely within let's say 10 years i'm afraid to say but it's really just hard to say it's really hard because if you just look if you if you look at how the spanish flu went again look up at the history on it that didn't go away for like a long time so i just i don't know man um if you look at like how people were by the time, because because the Spanish Spanish flu was around eighteen eighteen eight uh, no nineteen eighteen excuse me, and then by the time you look at how people were uh, during World War Two, you don't really see people wearing masks, and that was like what thirty years later, so um, people didn't talk about the Spanish flu too much, so maybe it's something some somewhere around I don't know. 30 years at the very most at the very worst <laughs> i mean make it sound like it's like eh, typical but uh 30 years though that's still a long time i'm by the time that happens i'm 60 you know <laughs> like i'm close to retiring retiring 
anyway, that's a stereotypical age. Well, anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, I got the booster shot, had some side effects. That's that's kind of how it, that's just kind of how it goes. Um, oh yeah, when it comes to Pokemon opening, uh, when it comes to card Pokemon card openings, I've had a lot of fun. I'll wrap it up with this. I have a lot of fun this year. This this year was like a big year for me to come back to, and I just went all out when it comes to um, Pokemon cards. And I I don't regret any of that. I I really like the experience. It was fun. Um, it's just you know uh, just me opening up, opening up cards and and all that, and the feeling of opening cards, cracking packs, and just seeing what you pull is such a mystifying feeling i should say and luckily hasn't gone to me to the point where like even if i don't have the extra budget i'm i like scrape into my my actual bud my actual like funds and then throw that in there no um you know that's all i like, calculated i'm like being very careful about my money and all that stuff and yeah i'm just like you know, try and be careful about it. But now, um, after Brilliant Stars, I think that's where I'm going to just, like, really just bring it down quite a bit. Uh, so this is going to be the last set uh, for me to bring it down for those who care about the Pokemon cards. And, yeah, so it's just kind of, how, like, how it's going to go. Uh and the reason why I'm able to even go into Brilliant Stars is because I'm actually starting to sell my bulk out to to a certain place, which has uh, gotten me quite a bit of money back, which is actually really nice. So that means I can do another set for this one last time, and then pretty much that's it. You know, that's I'm still going to dabble here and there when it comes to Pokemon cards, but not as crazy as I did for 2021. Man, that was a big year for Pokemon cards for me. And boy, trying to get the cart or get, trying to get the packs and collectors boxes and all that was so hard at the beginning of the year. But, you know, once I got the rhythm down and followed some uh, Twitter accounts, those those were the just the goats, the actual like greatest of all time sort of VIPs, whatever you want to say. They were they worked so hard to make sure that people know about you know stuff in stock and blah 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 like hey check your targets and oh check this site for pokemon cards it was it was hard trust me man i've never seen anything so hard to get besides the playstation 5 man i was oh man oh boy i hate i would hate to see i would hate to see the switch pro 4k or whatever it's gonna be called man of how fast it's gonna sell out oh my goodness i think though nintendo is smart and not to you know do anything like that for next couple next couple of years because the shortage on the semiconductors and other parts like that but yeah so um you will see some more, a couple more Pokemon card opening stuff, and then that's gonna be it. So, um, when it comes to the going all out phase, uh, but um, I, they'll still be around here and there. But yeah. Anyways, that's all I got for like all the big stuff I wanted to get out of my chest. Just a reminder: the streaming stuff. I'm still gonna be streaming on Twitch. But I'm now going to try to stream more on YouTube. And that's going to be more like the chill streams, art streams, uh, with the no mic, no camera kind of deal. Um, I'm just literally going to be in your background as I draw. I even put out a poll of, do you want to see these streams? You know, the, the audience uh, vastly, majorly, if that's a word for it, voted yes. They would like to see these streams um, in the future. So I just wanted to make that clear that these streams will be coming for 2022. I want to try it out, see how it goes. Uh, I'll try to do as much as I can per week, and uh, or just, you know, yeah, without burning myself out. And yeah, it's gonna happen too. So please, please understand and all that. And of course, when it comes to all the other content, 
uh, that I've been doing for the channel, you know, um, that's still going to happen. Um, I'm still, I'll, I'll still try to do my best to keep those going, like the reviews and all the other whatever spontaneous stuff I put out. Hawk Talks, yeah, you know, I like to talk about some stuff, so that's still going to happen. But hopefully 2022, you know, is going to be another good year. Hopefully it'll be a start of things like all the other years. But hopefully maybe the art streams will, will do something. Maybe they'll, they'll do something for the channel. You know, I've been I've been looking around and doing some research on how to drive traffic and stuff like that. And, you know, I considered, you know, doing a clips channel too, but let's take it one step at a time. You know, I, I want to do the art stream, see where that goes, and then maybe I'll do the clip stream and stuff like that. Or the clip channel or whatever. Um, for, I don't know, some... And the, 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 the usual purposes, I guess you can say. All right. That's it for realsies. I know this was a long video, but thank you guys so much. I had a lot to say and get it off my chest. But thank you guys so much for sticking around and continuing your support for the channel. Really appreciate it. Really. It's been another year that we have passed through. We made it. And um, we're still healing, um, especially for those who lost their loved ones whether it's from the coronavirus or really anything else, especially during the recent tornadoes and storms that have been taking place on the East Coast. I, you know, my, my deepest condolences and my prayers go out to all those affected by this storm. And of course, everyone affected by um, loss uh, for this year, especially from last year too. We're still all healing and it is a long process to go through and you know um at some point we definitely have to uh lift our heads and march forward and do what we do um and that includes the things that we love doing so get out there do your thing and um i wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas, happy, uh, happy holidays, and of course, please have a safe and have fun with your ha uh, Happy New Year celebration. Happy 2022, and hope hope all your 2021 uh, have been a good one, or at least a healthy one at that. So, anyways, um. Don't forget to don't forget to comment below. If you have any ideas, if you want to if you want to see something from me, or what should I do with my content? Uh, please do please please leave it down below. If you have any ideas, any notes, any criticisms, you know, constructive anything constructive, I welcome those in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'm gonna do my thing and and continue forward. Um, and that's that's all I got, man. So um, again. Um, Please, everyone, stay safe. Uh, please be careful, and ha have a have a good one, man. Uh, have a have a good end of 2021, and hope our beginning of 2022s and beyond will be something great. So, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video, especially the next year. Shout out.